appreciate you all watching this uh, latest video from Air Cooled. I want to talk to you about our new sponsor, Orlando Auto Body. Uh, I've been dealing with, with Shane and Jason for several years now. Uh, I've been doing work on uh, some of our cars here at the shop, some of our drivers, and uh, they're the best in town. I'd recommend, recommend them to uh, any friend of mine, uh, any family member. Uh, make sure to check them out if you're in need of paint on your everyday car, your Volkswagen. Um, give, them a, give them a try. Uh, link is down below in the description. Now back to the film. Hell yes. It hammered for a for a vert. It is certainly low. Yeah. Hot damn. How's it going? Good, how are you? Okay. All right, let's shake hands and then we'll wash hands <laughs> later. Never know, right? Like right. It's always the elbow. Yep. Yep. My son's soccer team we do a lot of. Yeah, yeah. Hot damn. You were really low, man. Like. Really low. You're dragging him. And I'm assuming by having this conversation we're about to have right now. Um the car doesn't ride awesome, right? What's that? The car ride awesome? It doesn't ride. It, listen, it's not a Cadillac, but it's not, uh, it's not all too bad, truthfully. Yeah, it's rough, but a lot of room for improvement, let's just say that. Okay. Um. Yeah, looky, looky. So you're, you're running shockless now. Is there a reason we didn't go shopless before? When we, is there a reason we didn't go shopless in the beginning? What do you mean? In our conversation? Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember our conversation. So much has happened since then. Okay. Um, I think we just talked about what was on it currently. You know, I sent all the pictures across and uh -huh. we talked about what we wanted. I, if I recall, that's just kind of where we ended up. Because you're probably at least six inch narrowed now. At minimum, could be more. You're, you got some pretty, pretty crazy depth there. Uh, well, no, I mean just like there's a difference between you having drums on it right now, right? And then going disc and, and four inch narrow, so we're already coming out, coming out, coming out, right? Which is what we wanted, right? Well, I mean for the fit, but this this being low, you know, you have a certain amount of steering available you know what I'm saying when you're you're this low yeah that was one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted it up a little bit right okay yeah sounds good um, and I also want because I gosh, I can't this happened two days ago oh. in a parking lot unbeknownst to me yeah someone hit it with a shop anyhow the turning radius as you can imagine is one of the things I wanted right yep, like I yep. hate that it rubs and and did you lower the back end of the car no, I bought it just like this. Tell your your direct the little reinforcements here, so that means you're you're already pretty substantially low to the point where you know if for that to ever become a remedy, you know you you know what I'm saying incrementally has to come up in some fashion, you know. And how do you? Is that I mean, why you're asking about the shocks. Well, I'm, that's this whole package seems um 
Somebody cut off the rear shock mounts and relocated them with some plates, which allows you to go lower. And so the ride quality of the handling characteristics kind of diminish. You're uh, it well, I have to because it's I'm it's happy. recording. <laughs> ideal heat is to, I mean I wouldn't mind this lift coming to the top you know what I mean like top of the tire I'm fine with that. wow the, the, you, you're speaking the right language my friend <laughs> you're speaking because so and I'm glad this is recording because this needs to resonate like if you find a good-looking woman and she's got fake tits and 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 collagen lips you know what I'm talking about right. it's really not like a it's fake right right you find a woman that has some 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 droop to you know things that you, you know she you, she you know she's real right and we can all look at like if you saw a picture of this car and you're like damn looks great right because that's the the physical attraction not necessarily the like how the car is gonna work right yeah um okay yeah I'm fine with it coming up and the same can be said for the front I mean you know if the fender wheels like right, right above the the tire so to speak uh, right like, it would look it would become a driver it become cleaner it become more still look low to yeah start. absolutely wow, still absolutely great. just and right I, now you're hammered I for a bird right and i even like i think i told you um just call people and it's just a, a rake a rake uh -huh, like, uh -huh, uh -huh. i wouldn't mind just that tad right okay, like, okay 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 yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. okay okay well um Okay. Well, no, I mean, it, it's the pictures that you sent um, uh, told not a different story, but I didn't, I didn't really like understand the picture of how low this car is. And I say that in a, you know, I work with air ride cars where you lay that, that channel right on the ground and you drove it in here. I watched you drove it, drive it in here. And it's crazy that it's this low and the, you know we can there's there's a, a level of acceptance right like this is what it is and this is how it is and then now we're going for something better and and now we're choosing to hey maybe i can get in the car and the car handles track straight right it's good like these are these are pluses right oh, i think everything from this point forward is a plus good yeah good good, good. the steering the obviously the disc brakes the, yep the ride yep so um obviously the 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 idea and the and the, the direction that we were going to go is we we're going to install what we got inside here in the shop i'll show you here in a second um the back you know that 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 has some uh unique challenges to it right and i don't know if if that requires me to handle that or if it doesn't right um because if if i were to do this and I, 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 I'm, I'm, maybe we can get lucky and, and re-indexing the torsions would, would give us where we, where you want to be, right? Instead, because I have yet to have a comfortability factor with the plates themselves that you have in the back. So, so say it again, the they previous owner cut the... So there, there's, yeah, there's a, a shock mount that's a cast shock mount that, that's called the bearing housing, right? It's all part of the axle tube presses on pin goes through it that holds your bearings for your axles also holds your lower shock mount got it, okay? Got it, okay what they did is they cut that out and they put these drop plates so it allows you to drop it up lift it up and then the shock mount extends lower right and so that's just all so i thought i saw shocks in there there is shock probably not no it's not the shock's fault shocks are shock could be fine okay. the problem is they plates so they cut that they let's just use the word hack okay <laughs> They hacked it because they want to go lower, right? You can go get these plates for 80 bucks, put it on the car, and you can hammer the car, right? Right? Okay. Where you can't do that with a normal setup, right? But when we're having this conversation about where we want to have the rake of the car, where we want to sit it, those aren't needed. Okay, Got it. okay? they're they're like I could see them being the bitter taste of a beer, right? You know what I'm saying? A good right. beer, and you got oh, what's this bitter taste? Right. And that could be the bitter taste. We'll we'll get everything Cadillac out, right? And it's gonna ride good, and it's gonna handle good, and and it's gonna perform well. Um, and then we get to that point, and then we're like, hey, what do we do? Right. Do we address it? Do we not address it? How do we address it? Do we open up a can of worms? Right. And and the, that's the conversation we'll get probably more once we 
get it on the lift, look at it, you know what I'm saying? Kind of send you some videos of what we see, how what we don't. That's a beautiful, that's a piece of art. <laughs> right? Seriously, man. So this, uh, this obviously went to an Nero um, with the drop spindles, the German ball joints, the uh, oil shops, the best riding stuff. We got the two piston wheel woods with the wide five brakes. Everything is new, everything is, I can't make it better. <laughs> okay? Right. So there's a level of, um, I'm, I'm gonna take out what we put in. I'm gonna put in something that is going to improve drastically where you're at, right? Now we look at where, where the overall ride height is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that one out. I'm gonna put this one in. We're gonna go to the highest setting and then we're gonna come down incrementally. We're gonna get where you're like, I like it right there, right? And then we're gonna line up there. It's going to be the, the toe, the, the steering wheel, everything's gonna be set up for that point, okay? Yep. Then we can look at the back and see where we want to go with the back, how we want to address the back, that kind of thing. Um, if and what available options we there are and, and kind of do that once we understand what we're working with. Okay, sounds good. So um, this is going to kick the wheels out because you're going to have more turning radius. You're going to have um, better handling. Right. And, and I think that's going to uh, bring your enjoyment factor up. You follow what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because cosmetically, it looks good. Right. Um, it, it is how, maybe how you drive down the freeway or how you drive down the road, where you go, this is how I want it to drive, right? Yeah, and then exactly. that improves. It was a fun drive. So I live in Cape, Scottsdale, Cape Creek. Uh -huh. It's a fun drive, but man, it's white knuckle. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. On that 101, you got people, anyhow, making that same drive once we're complete, it's going to be it's a different car. It's, it, it's going to be a totally different drive and everything else. Absolutely. Absolutely. This one has four inch narrow, and this has got yeah. 17 inch wheels on it with this brake, so it has a, a, a yeah. you know, it looks like it belongs there. Yeah, it totally does. Uh, and it has a slight, a slight rake, very yeah. slight, you know? Yeah, and gosh, just looking at the clearance, Pete, is night and day. Yeah. Like, it's like, I like how this looks, you know, we'll, to your point, we'll work on it, but like I was saying, even if it's tagged at high, sure. I've got two kiddos. Yep. So, throw the wife in it's like yeah you think it's low now you put you add just some weight and oh, it yeah. changes everything we'll so everything under a load absolutely yeah i'm excited it's gonna look totally good 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 hey guys thanks for tuning in i want to kind of give you an update on our 10,000 uh subscriber giveaway we're going to give away an ultimate beam we are roughly about 4100 away what that means is you need to click that subscribe button. Make sure you do that. Uh, once we do get uh, up to that 10,000, we're gonna give it away. And uh, it could be you. Yeah, you. You could be the lucky winner. Now back to the film. What's up, Air Cooled Army? It's your friend Pete, back again with a new install of a pro-built beam in this dump vert. Local client Troy wanted to get the goods. We set him up with a pro built beam and some bad series disc brakes. And uh, you probably just saw the interview. If you, done, you didn't yet, check it. We did it. I was there. It was cool. Learned a lot. Um, we're gonna go take this uh, bad boy for a spin and we're gonna see what the pro built beam is up against. Come on, let's go. Going up. No. Going out. No, we're not. We're static, baby. Oh, fire's out. Try it again.
So first thing we're gonna do with this before we get on the lift guys, is uh, we're gonna measure it to see what the distance is from the ground to the upper arch of the fender on all four corners. And we're going to write it down and figure out if this car is crooked to start with before we install our beam. Gotta know that ahead of time.
Oh my god. 